Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and um, over the past week I've heard a lot of talking about this in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, about how bad the Yu-Gi-Oh! community apparently is. And I've heard different players discuss about this. I mean, it all started from Mega Capital G, which I, I, I don't really think was a good video for him to make. It, did, it was kind of a stupid video, in my opinion, to make it. It had no point, really. But it made people in the other community start to talk about how good this community is. And I'm in that boat. The community as a whole, I feel like, is a very good community. You have two parts of the community, really. You have the online Yu-Gi-Oh! community, and you have the real-life community, that the ones that play in the real world, um, who go to events in the real life and things of that nature. And then you could break it down even further to, you know, super competitive, you know, the people that are somewhere in the middle, uh, you know, that can go, you know, they're, they're casual, but they also like being competitive, and then you're very casual players. Um, and then the, the people that even, don't even know what Yu-Gi-Oh! is, I guess you could say. But there's different ways you could break it down of the community. Uh, people have done that throughout the years. But as a whole, um, I feel like a lot of people just judge the Yu-Gi-Oh! community from what they see online and what they hear. It's the old saying, like my grandmother used to say, you know, don't let a couple of bad, you know, apples spoil the bushel, you know, and what does that mean? Don't let a couple of assholes ruin the community, because that's not complete, that's not true. And I know, you know, we're in an age now where there's a lot of trolls and people that, you know, say awful things and mean things, or they don't really know what they're talking about, yet they think their opinion is correct. Uh, and I've seen this happen so many times, you know, on my deck profiles or on my videos, especially my deck profiles, where people will bombast me for playing my deck the way I play it. I've seen it so many times, and I'm like, that's fine. I'm just putting this deck profile up for other people to get ideas of how to play it and take my opinion and use it as they wish. If you want to play it that way, go right ahead. And I've always, another old adage, if you know what it means, I've always let things of that nature just be like uh, water off a duck's back, which means it doesn't bother bother me whatsoever, and that's literally how I feel like, you know. It's just water off a duck's back. It don't bother me one bit. I sound very country right now. Oh my gosh, my country voice is coming out, I guess. My country accent. But uh, I honestly feel the Yu-Gi-Oh! community is a very good community. I I've seen it so many times on my Yu-Gi-Oh! channel over the years. I've had, I've made good friends, like my good friend Mike and other people out there through Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, in real life, online, all over the world. And I, I never, when I started this channel, which was pretty much just something I wanted to try out, I never thought it would become what it is now, where I'm able to actually help people um, and, you know, give them, you know, help them become better players because like I've said before you know this channel is about making better players and enjoying Yu-Gi-Oh! that's what it's about making you a better player and on top of that making you know teaching you to enjoy the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! and also if you want to be competitive I, I have a little flair for that and if you want to play old school things you know because you want to be reminiscent of the old days I'm all for that too I love this game and the people out there. I've met so many good players and I've gotten so many letters uh, in the mail sometimes or um, messages on Facebook or comments in my comment section. I can't always comment back on everybody but I always look over my comments. I always do and I always read them and I've got people saying, you know, thank you Seto. You helped me explain this deck. I couldn't figure out how it worked. Thank you so much. This video was awesome Seto. Keep up the great work. You know. Thank you so much. You've helped me made it, make me a better player. Uh, I've actually become better. I went to my first regionals and I did very well thanks to you. Thank you for teaching me how to play this game better. You know, thank you for showing me different things I can try out in my deck. Thank you for talking. Thank you for explaining. You know, I, I've got it all and I love it. And even though I'm a very smaller channel compared to other people out there in, in the Yu-Gi-Oh sense of the word, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh sense of YouTube, uh, Yu-Gi tubing and even though I don't like that word, and also just Yu-Gi-Oh! and uh, YouTube in general, excuse me, the community I have found is very good. 
I mean, I can't tell you how many times, you know, I'll just be assholes to my friends. Well, my friends will be assholes to me, but we've been friends for so long. <laughs> we're just doing it because we love, we, 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 you know, we're friends. It, uh, it's something that, uh, it reminds me of football, you know, when I was in football and track, you know. Hey, you son of a bitch, run faster. Hey, you know, like, you, you know, oh my gosh, that's a helmet deck. You've been playing helmet decks for ever since I've known you. You've been playing Bujins for three years. Now you go to play, you know, it's, you, you joke around like that. You hear it on my videos. It's because we know each other. You know, we, we've known each other for so long, we don't mind cussing and just talking weird things. You know, it's, it's, it's something that's fun. It makes the community enjoyable. It makes it alive. And I enjoy this community very much. You know, yeah, you get your, your shit players out there, the players that are just assholes. Um, I've met those players out there in real life and online, and I'm just like, whatever. I, I try not to let them get under my skin. Um, a couple years ago, uh, oh gosh, about two years ago, I had a person on my channel, I um, used like a thumbnail there, it's just for an old video, and like six, seven months later, he finds out that I used his thumbnail, and he tried to create, he sent his subscribers over to my channel to harass me. And I was like, what the hell? And I pretty much said, whatever. I don't care. That's a seventh month. That's seven. That video I uploaded seven months ago. Nobody's even looking at it. Who cares? So, like, I've, I've seen, you know, people in the community that are just kind of like, it's like, dude, whatever. Who cares? It's Yu-Gi-Oh. We play this game. You should be playing this game because you either want to be a winner because you enjoy it because you enjoy it and are having fun doing that, or you just want to have fun playing whatever you want to play. So, the community as a whole, I mean, is a good community. I've seen other communities out there, you know, you have your bad players, your asshole players, but you also have your good players out there. So, when you look at it as a whole, I, and, and being in this game for a long time, you have your players that you know, and not the nicest group of people, or they're they steal things and things of that nature. And then you got your other players out there that are you know, pretty good guys. You, and they become friends and friendships. And you create teams sometimes and you enjoy it. And you you know, you always drink, brag, uh, bring them back when they quit Yu-Gi-Oh! eventually. Um, so overall, I've enjoyed this community. And the people I've met in this community, online and in real life, doing this Yu-Gi-Oh! thing for years on end now, are very good majority and we shouldn't let a couple of bad apples ruin the bushel we, we should not let that happen just some bad apples ruin it because that takes away from what this community is and what this game is it makes us direct our attention at something else and not think about all the good things about this game you know I hear so many bad things about the game sometimes that you don't hear the good things about the game that happen we got support for Dark Magician and Blue Eyes. Yes, they're not meta, but they're relevant and you can play those decks. You know, we got support for a whole bunch of different decks. The game is becoming, you know, a little more diverse, I feel like, to some degree. Uh, yeah, you have Zodiacs. Yeah, you have True Dragons coming out later. And, but you look at all the different engines that decks are running now. It's kind of like a mishmash uh, from um, Fire, uh, the older days of Yu-Gi-Oh! where it's a whole bunch of just good staples that people run. Come off the old days a little bit. Yes, it's expensive. Yes, it's this. Yes, there are assholes that were trying to take, you know, try to make a quick buck. Yes, there are assholes that were steal things. Yes, there's assholes that really don't know any better where they're just trying to irritate you. But take all that away, a couple of bad apples, and the rest of the community is very good. Like, I remember when Zodiac, uh, I first got on Zodiac, like, oh gosh, like in 2012, I think it was. And uh, that community on Zodiac was a bunch of. Just I, no offense, back then, back then, mind you, were a bunch of stupid a holes. I felt like I was like I just I got on Zodiac because I was just the comedy. It was like oh my gosh, these just duh, uh, uh. And over time, I know M Colt Forty and especially John Moore from House of Champions. That he he they 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 fixed that community up right and they made it good. And Zodiac nowadays is a lot different from what Zodiac was three four years ago. And overall, I think it's a lot better community, and I've, it's shown the good side of the community to some extent. Yeah, you have your assholes and whatnot still. You, you're always going to have your assholes and whatnot, but overall, the community is a good community, and there's no two ways about it.
And like I said, don't let a, whole, a couple of bad apples ruin the bushel. The bushel. But till next time, guys, take care, have fun dueling, good luck dueling, and what do you think of this Yu-Gi-Oh! community? If you think it's a pretty good community, I mean, people will say, well, this Pokemon and Magic have better communities and this and that. I don't care about those. I care about Yu-Gi-Oh! because that's what I play. I love Pokemon. I do. I used to play Magic, but I love Yu-Gi-Oh! and I love po you know the most. So, tell me what you think about the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, guys. And until next time, take care, have fun dueling, good luck dueling, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.